Hey team, how you doing? Poetry for 2022. And this week's poem is a uh, bit of a celebration for all those grade 12 students that have um, uh, closed the door on one chapter and have opened the window on another. So um, this week's poem is simply called Shine and it goes like this. Have you ever been to Bunnings and walked on down the lighting aisle? Flabbergasted by varieties that leave you looking for a while. Lights for every budget, every purpose and intent. Illumination for all seasons. Some with fans and toilet vents. There were table lamps and LEDs ceiling drops and track lights too. Incandescent and fluorescent lights and halogens to name a few. Some are turned on by a sensor or by the clapping of a hand while others have a power source or backup batteries on demand. No matter what requirement, there was a light for every need, to fill a stage or light a page when you sit down at night to read. It was then I had a light bulb moment as I thought beyond the store to the other things that shone in life and my mouth dropped to the floor. My memory took me back a bit to a movie I'd once seen. A coach Carter asked a simple question to a young man on his basketball team. Mr. Cruz, what is your deepest fear? His response stirred deep my soul. It's our light, not dark, that scares us most. But letting it glow can make others whole. I'm of the opinion that each of us signs like lights we're complex and unique, illuminating the world with the gifts we all bring and the actions and words that we speak. We would never compare a fancy chandelier with a torch or backyard floodlight. Yet each has a function for what they were built, for the purpose of breaking the night. So be who you are, grade 12 superstar, for nobody shines like you do. There's no room to compare, and I hope you're aware of the dazzling brilliance that's you. Cheers, team. Have a great week. And remember to shine.